Hi Internet, it's Crystal Milligan. I am a psychic reader and a psychic coach. I also write and I teach and I have a website and um, I often get questions um, sent to my website from people all over the world with just any kind of questions, supernatural, metaphysical, and I try to answer as many of them as I can and I actually have a section on my website where you know I write down the questions and then I write down my answers. But um, I also want to start doing videos because sometimes I want to speak to the question and answer a lot more in depth than I can just just in a written response and so I'm going to start making some videos um, in which I do that but I want to preface by saying that my answers to these questions come from my own personal experience these are not hard and fast rules there are no hard and fast rules so far as I can tell um, in metaphysics or in in the psychic realm or the paranormal realm it is such an unknown untapped sort of field that you know we really can't say it is this way or it isn't so anything I assert or anything I say um, I will reference it if I can or I'll just tell you that's my experience and it's not necessarily going to be yours or, or another psychic's experience. Um, recently I got a question from a gentleman named Kyle and he lives in Manitoba, Canada and he had a, actually a very interesting question because I had just started thinking about this recently but um, he asked whether mediums can only talk to spirits before they pass into the light. Um, in other words, earthbound spirits are those spirits occupying that astral level that's most proximate to our earth plane. Um, I, I like to call this sort of the birthing canal um, realm where we pass out of our, our physical body and we sort of slip into this immediate proximate um, dimension and then from there we go into the light. So it's a temporary realm. We're not meant to get stuck there. Obviously a lot of spirits do get stuck there. These are the spirits we call ghosts, the ones that can haunt or hang out or are tortured or tormented. I mean, that's kind of where they get stuck. So he wanted to know whether mediums can only talk to the stuck ones, to the earthbound spirits, or whether they can actually talk to them once they get into the light. Interesting because um, I was listening recently on Coast to Coast AM to psychic medium Mary Ann Winkowski, W-I-N-K-O-W-S-K-I. I really dig her. She's down to earth. She's super practical. She's not super woo-woo or out there. But she was saying that she can only talk to spirits before they pass into the light. And it's in her estimation, these spirits, once we die, we typically hang out in that temporary plane for about seven to ten days and we, we acclimate to the idea that we're no longer in our physical body. Maybe we stay by our loved ones. We, we try to comfort them or we, we take care of unfinished business. And then we see the light and we, we go into the light and that's what we all ought to be doing once we die and that's what those ghosts ought to be doing too. Um, so she can only talk to them when they're in that intermediary place or they're in that birthing canal realm. She cannot talk to them once they pass into the light. Many, many mediums can talk to um, spirits once they've passed into the light. It, it would be like if I went to see a psychic medium and I wanted to get in touch with my father who passed in 1995, um, she could summon my father or he could summon my father and my father could step forth and if the medium had that particular ability, she or he could absolutely talk to my father and relay messages to me. So there are mediums who talk to spirits that have passed if those spirits want to do it. And then there are mediums who can only speak to spirits who have not made that transition, um, which I find to be very interesting. Um, for me, I possess mediumship abilities, but I, I'm kind of an ad hoc kind of person. It's like, I really don't call out and try to summon them. I don't conduct seances, anything like that. I just have encounters with spirits who approach me um, either when I'm asleep via dream state or when I'm wide awake. Um, I see them. I hear them. They relay a message. It's typically around... Um, the the uh, me giving a reading to somebody or me or meditating on on someone so as to give them a reading at some point that's when I'll typically come into contact with spirits because they want to be included in that reading um and I'll take what I get I'll describe the spirit I'll describe the information and that's how I do it and um, I really don't concern myself on the front end with whether they are in the light or earthbound although I can typically tell an earthbound because Earthbounds shouldn't be in that intermediate or intermediary space. They should be in the light. And when they are not, that is typically because they are disoriented, they are troubled, they are resistant, they are malicious or malevolent or harassing. I mean, there's a whole sort of host of reasons why we get stuck in that place. But um, And I can feel that vibration. It's not an ascended vibration. Once you've passed into the light, you are, you are taking that next, you know, spiritually evolutionary step. And that has a certain vibratory signature and it feels different than the spirits that would approach me that are stuck. So 
That is my answer to the best of my ability. I would love to hear thoughts and comments out there if you're a medium or if you've been to a medium, what your experiences have been. But again, it's different for everybody. It really is. And it's based on what you know how to do or what I know how to do. And, um, you know, there's, there's no hard and fast rule about any of it. It's spirit. It's the world of spirit. You know, it's this great unknown. I think everybody can have a different experience. If you have any questions um, and you want to shoot me a letter, please do. My website is um, crystalmilligan.com. There's a contact section. Just please uh, feel free to write me, and I will either write you back or I will address it there on my website, or I'll make a video, and I'll name who you are if you let me. All right, you guys, you have a great day. I hope you are living in the light and in the love.